Hello there students, welcome back to this video series. This is your instructor Dhruvi Bhatt talking about again elasticity of demand. As I promised you in the previous lecture, today we would be talking about other types of elasticities of demand. In the previous lectures, we understood what is meant by elasticity of demand, particularly what is meant by price elasticity of demand, how to compute price elasticity of demand. Today we would be talking about other elasticities of demand. Students, we understood that elasticity means how the quantity demanded of a product responds with respect to change in one of its determinants. We understood that how quantity demanded responds with respect to change in price. In this lecture, we would discuss how quantity demanded responds with respect to change in consumer income as well as with respect to price of other products. Today we would be discussing elasticities of demand which are income elasticity of demand and cross elasticity of demand. Let us first start with income elasticity of demand. What is meant by income elasticity of demand? What determines income elasticity of demand? How to compute income elasticity of demand? And so on. First things first, let us try to understand what is meant by income elasticity of demand. Of course, if price elasticity of demand is measure of how quantity demanded changes with respect to price, then income elasticity of demand would obviously be the measure of how quantity demanded changes with respect to change in consumer income. As our income changes, our needs, wants change and our demand for a particular product obviously change. It is calculated using percentage method, mind you. It is calculated using percentage method and it is given as the percentage change in quantity demanded divided by the percentage change in income of a consumer. With respect to income elasticity of demand, the goods are divided to be different types of goods. We would study it moving further. Before that, I will show you the formula of income elasticity of demand. Income elasticity of demand is given by percentage change in quantity demanded with respect to percentage change in income. Let us study this with the help of an example. Suppose we take an example of washing machine. Each and every one of us may or may not own a washing machine. But if my income increases, then I might think of purchasing a new washing machine for washing my clothes. So as income increases of a consumer, the corresponding demand of washing machine increases. Quantity demanded increases. If with increase in income, the quantity demanded of any particular good increases, then such type of goods are known as normal goods. Remember this. If with increase in income, the quantity demanded of a particular good increases, then such type of goods are known as normal goods. Ma'am, isn't it obvious that with increase in income, the demand for all the goods will obviously increase? Then why are you telling us that such goods are known as normal goods? What are other types of goods? We would study this. Wait, wait. Until that, I would give you an example of normal goods. Let us try to study this example and apply our formula here. Say, with 20% increase in income of a consumer, the demand for diamonds increases by 40%. Then income elasticity of demand is obviously given by 40% divided by 20% which is equal to 2, a positive 2. I never said that do not consider signs here. You will not consider negative sign only in price elasticity of demand. In income elasticity and in cross elasticity, you would be considering signs. Here, with 20% increase in income, the demand increases by 40% and that is why both the values are positive and as an answer, I get a positive 2. Okay, so here the income elasticity of demand is a positive 2. 
let us take one more example say your income increases by the same percentage which is 20 percent would you increase the consumption of sugar you will get diabetes don't do so your demand for sugar would not increase by 40 percent you will be able to afford more sugar but that doesn't mean you will start buying more sugar you will be able to afford diamonds you will start buying diamonds but as sugar is a necessity sugar or all other consumer goods like vegetables milk etc all these are necessities even with your change in income the demand for such goods does not change substantially with 20 percent increase in your income your demand for sugar increases only by 1%. So, income elasticity of demand for such things is 0.05. Here, income elasticity of demand for sugar is 0.05. Both these are normal goods. Both these are normal goods because in both the cases, demand increases. In one of the case, demand increases by a wide proportion in other case demand does not increase that much such goods where demand increases in a high proportion or demand increases substantially are known as luxuries because with increase in income you will be able to afford more of your luxuries where demand does not vary much these are necessities moving forward let us try to understand other types of goods here let us say traveling by bus as your income increases you would prefer traveling by your own car or you would prefer going by airplanes to different destinations or you might be having your own chopper so as your income increases the quantity demanded for such goods decreases these goods whose quantity demand decreases with increase in income are known as inferior or given goods. Remember this, the goods whose quantity demand decreases with increase in income are known as given goods or inferior goods. Some other examples can be street side food, street side shopping. Let us try to see with the help of an example that what exactly is the income elasticity of demand for given goods let us consider non-branded phones if with the increase in income by 20 percent the demand of non-branded phones for a particular consumer decreases by 40 percent remember the negative sign here if with the increase in income of a particular person by 20 percent if the quantity demanded of Chinese phones decreases by 40% because now you can afford an iPhone. If it decreases by 40% then corresponding income elasticity of demand would obviously be minus 2. Here we will retain the negative signs and this minus 2 shows that the good in consideration is a given or an inferior good. If we try to generalize the scenario we can say that if income elasticity of demand has values less than zero then the goods are inferior or given goods if it is greater than zero then goods are normal goods if in greater than zero the value is less than one which means it is between zero and one then the goods are necessities zero means the demand does not change at all with increase in income the demand of water does not change at all if the change in demand is from zero to one the goods in consideration are necessities if there is a substantial change in demand then these goods would be having income elasticity greater than one and these goods are luxuries Remember this generalized scenario for income elasticity of demand given to you any sum you can be asked that which type of goods are represented in this particular problem. Moving forward, let us try to know what is meant by cross elasticity of demand, cross elasticity. What 
is the impact on demand of a product with change in price of some other product. Cross elasticity of demand, let us try to define it first. The cross price elasticity of demand measures how the quantity demanded of one good responds to a change in the price of another good. It is calculated as the percentage change in quantity demanded of good 1 divided by the percentage change in price of good 2. This also uses the percentage method. But remember, here the change in quantity is measured for a different product with respect to change in price of a different product. This is known as cross price elasticity of demand or more generally only cross elasticity of demand. Let us try to understand what is the formula. Cross the price formula. elasticity of demand is given as the percentage change in quantity demanded of good A with respect to percentage change in price of good B. The goods in consideration here are different. You need to remember that thing. Let's understand this with the help of an example. For example, with a 20% increase in the price, price of, of Coke causes the demand of Pepsi to rise by 40%. Then cross price elasticity of demand can be calculated as 40% divided by 20% is equal to 2. Here change in demand is of Pepsi. And change in price is of coke. Here cross elasticity is 2. Let us understand the cross price elasticity of some another goods. For example, let us say that with 20% increase in the price of computers causes the amount of software purchased to be decreased by 40% then cross price elasticity is minus 40% divided by 20% is equal to minus 2. Here too we will retain the negative signs. Can you see the difference between these two cases? In the first case with change in price of coke with increase in price of coke the demand of pepsi increased what are coke and pepsi then if price of coke increases then demand for coke according to law of demand decreases if we decrease in quantity demanded of coke the quantity demanded of Pepsi increases, then Pepsi and Coke are said to be substitute goods. If their demand moves in opposite directions, Pepsi and Coke are said to be substitute products because their demands move in opposite directions. As price of coke increases, demand of coke decreases and that is why people would try finding substitutes of coke they will go for purchasing pepsi and so demand of pepsi increases in such a case cross price elasticities would be positive would be greater than zero or positive in another case you cannot use softwares without computers as price of computers increases according to law of demand the demand of computers decreases with decrease in demand of computers if demand of softwares also decrease they both are moving in same direction and so these both products are complements of each other they complement each other or they cannot be used without each other if you get the value of cross price elasticity as negative numbers, then the products in consideration are said to be complements to each other. They cannot be used without each other. Examples can be petrol and vehicle, CNG and vehicles, printer and cartridges, etc. Let us generalize these scenarios. Given any problem, 
you can compute the cross price elasticity of demand and if your answer is less than zero then products in question are complements if it is greater than zero then the products in question are substitutes but if it is exactly zero if with change in price of fans the demand for tables does not differ then your cross price elasticity would be zero if it is zero then fan and table are unrelated goods they do not have any type of relationship with each other they are neither substitutes nor complements on this note we have completed on elasticity of demand we understood that there are three types of elasticities of demand price elasticity of demand income elasticity of demand and cross price elasticity of demand we also understood different examples focusing on these types of elasticities that was all about elasticities thank you so much for such patiently listening to me this is dhruvi bad signing off until next time bye bye